Today I will show you how to install the latest version of Windows 11 25H2 on your Mac. Installing this version of Windows can be more challenging than in the past due to Microsoft's strict policies regarding unsupported hardware. However, this simple video will help you successfully install the latest version of Windows 11. So, if you are interested in testing or using 25H2 on your Apple Silicon Mac or Intel Mac, please follow along with me. First, open your web browser and navigate to the Microsoft website. There you will find an option for the Windows Insider Preview. Click on that and then select Windows 11 Insider Preview. On the next page, you will need to sign in with a Microsoft account that is already enrolled in the Microsoft Beta program. Click the Sign In option to proceed with your Microsoft account. After signing in, you will be directed to a new page. Simply scroll down to the bottom. Here you will find the Select Edition option. Click on it and choose Windows 11 Insider Preview 27842. This build is the one that Microsoft is currently developing for version 25H2. We are installing the earlier beta version, but the steps are the same for the final version. On the next page, choose your preferred language. Now you can download the Windows 11 25H2 Insider Preview. Once the ISO file is downloaded, the next step is to download virtualization software. For this demo, we will use Parallel Desktop. It's a paid app, but you can use its free trial version. After downloading Parallel Desktop, open it and create a new virtual machine. Select the Windows 11 ISO file you just downloaded. Click continue. Choose the version of Windows you want to install and click continue. Now comes an important part. Check the Customize Settings Before Installation option and click Create. In the Settings window, go to the Hardware tab. I recommend increasing the RAM for better performance. My Mac has 16GB of RAM, so I am assigning 8GB to Windows. After that, scroll down and click on Hard Disk. Then click Advanced and from the Location drop-down menu, choose IDE10. This step is necessary. If you skip it, you might get stuck on the Searching for Disk step during installation. Now you can close the setting window. Click Continue and Windows 11 installation will begin. Please keep in mind, the remaining installation steps are fully automatic, so please sit back and relax. Please note, the second phase of installation may take a long time, up to 40 or 50 minutes. If it seems like nothing is happening, don't panic, be patient. After a while, you will see that the installation is complete. Congratulations! We have successfully installed the latest version of Windows 11 on our Mac using Parallel Desktop. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section below. If this video helped you, Please show your support by liking and sharing it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.